Hello Capricorn, welcome to a you and them love reading. Um, this is going to be a reading all about what's going on in your connection at this time and the energies between you and this particular person. So this is for those of you that have some sort of a connection already or someone in mind. So let's jump right in to this reading for you Capricorn. And my cards just flew. Oh wow, the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. I was just curious to see which ones like popped out of here. Love that. Okay. What do we need to know for Capricorn regarding love guidance messages? What's going on for Capricorn in love at this time? Capricorn and the person they are thinking about or connecting with. What's going on for Capricorn in love? We need to know for Capricorn. What do we need to know? Okay, let's see what we get for you, Capricorn. So, what's going on in your connection will be the first three cards. Oh, the devil, you're the first card out, and the Eight of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Okay, so first three cards are what's going on between you. And then I'll pick two cards for your energy and two cards for your person's energy. But wow, interesting that you showed up. Ten of Cups, Two of Swords on your end here. Nine of Wands, Five of Wands on your person's end. So they're not, again, Capricorn. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like for the last few months, the energy that I've been picking up for the person you're dealing with is that they're not doing well without you or they want you back or something like that and I feel like this is very similar energy like you did a number on this person I think that was actually one of the titles that I had for one of the readings that I did but you have the ten of cups so I feel like it's not the same <laughs> the energies here okay so let's get some oracle cards we got some oracle cards. Tell, tell us more for Capricorn and this other person. What's going on, Spirit, in this connection at this time? What do we need to know about the energies in this connection at this time? What do we need to know for Capricorn? What do we need to know about the energies? Standing firm, defense, resistance, courage. You're standing firm against any challenge. Grounded, balanced, and rational. So I'm sensing someone's very composed and knows exactly what they want and how to react to a situation. What else? What's going on for Capricorn? Budding romance. Romance is in the air. New love, courtship. You might have um, interest in someone new here, Capricorn. We'll see. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Capricorn? Keep an open mind, number three. Bottom of the deck, keep going, number ten. Okay, so I sense that someone, okay, let's actually, before I jump into that, let's clarify what's going on in your connection first, and then I'll jump into your energies down here and kind of show you or talk to you about what I'm sensing here. The Knight of Cups is front and center here, and then there's an Eight of Cups. So I'm getting like, conflicting energies. I want to kind of clarify. Can we get some clarity for Capricorn? Okay. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Let's start there. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Judgment. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Swords. Okay, so why is the devil here? Why 
why is the double here? Why is the double here? Why is the double here? Yeah, so Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone wants to bring you an offer and wants to talk to you. I mean, it could be that you have someone you want to approach. I mean, that's always a possibility, but that, I don't sense that as strongly as I sense that someone really wants to bring you to this Page of Pentacles. This could be somebody new with budding romance, but with Judgment and the Eight of Swords, I don't know. It's almost like there's a block here. Like either someone has realized they need to get out of a situation or someone wants a second chance after walking away but is fearful of the rejection. Can I get one more for the Eight of Cups? Can I get one more for this Eight of Cups? The Magician. No, I feel like this is what someone wants. But there's the Five of Wands. So this could be your person because they have the Five of Wands. Um, like fighting for your attention perhaps or drama conflict that they that there exists between you tell me about this knight of cups why is the knight of cups here why is the knight of cups here ten of wands why is the knight of cups here the moon, Pisces energy, and the ace of wands. So for some of you, I'm getting that someone hid how they felt for you. Pisces energy with the moon, like they suppressed their feelings and buried them. But deep down what they want is this ace of wands. Let's see what this ace of wands is about. Can I get some insight on this ace of wands? Why is the ace of wands here? King of Queen of Swords, sorry. Four of Swords, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I think this is that that gift that someone wants to bring you, that offer that someone wants to bring bring you to start something new. The Fool, but they need to open up in order to do that. So that I'm getting very. Um, I feel like there's more than one person here. It's it's really odd. Can I get one more for the devil? And then I'll move down to your energies here. Wow, the tower. So maybe you're not expecting this message, Capricorn, or there's some sort of reveal coming with this offer. Maybe it's an unexpected offer, or perhaps a tower has happened in this connection because I sense that for one group of you, You've decided to maybe walk away from a connection, you or your person. And for another group of you, I feel like someone wants a second chance and they just haven't expressed that in the best way or in a way that they they want to express it or, or they've been hiding this or maybe they've been blocked. But I feel like with the tower, it's almost like something explosive with this King of Swords it's like there's a an important truth or conversation that someone wants to have here. What else do we need to know about this connection between Capricorn and this other person? What else do we need to know, Spirit? And I feel like someone is very grounded or firm in the sense that they are not going to be moved by emotional displays or anything like that. They're very, I, feel, I sense someone very rooted. Um, and I think this might be you. Tell me more about what's going on in this connection. And with budding romance and keep an open mind, it's almost like someone wants to leave room for what could be in the future and with when it comes to love like keep going right let's see what else is out there and same, same with this two of wands here it's like when this tower arrives someone's like okay what else is out there for me 
What do we need to know for Capricorn? And this other person, what do we need to know? New love, exactly. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings and calling in your soulmate at the bottom of the deck. You know, it's, again, it's, it's, I've been picking up on that energy where it's almost like someone's has their eye on the future. And some of you, you could be dealing with, who was it that had, um, that kind of energy? Taurus. If you're dealing with a Taurus, check out that reading because there was a missing piece in that reading. And I feel it's because the two people that were in that reading were not on the same page. And I feel like this could be the case here. It's like you both want different things. So the energy is like separated, you know, conflicts with, with, with each other. Okay, so let's see what we can get for your energies. Now Capricorn, have you on one side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Capricorn's energy spirit. Tell me about Capricorn's energies. I'm torn. Yeah. That's why you have the two of swords. You're undecided about something. But I, I feel like you know you want to be happy. And you're thinking of your own happiness with the ten of cups. But you're undecided at the same time. Tell me about this person that Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? person i regret what happened i i tell you i feel this person wants a second chance what else what else what else do we need to know it's all my fault bottom of the deck i'm heartbroken yeah it's interesting um how the energies come out let me get actually i'll get one of these a kipper can we get some more insight into the energies between capricorn and this person get some insight between capricorn and this person judication waiting for a decision and toil and labor so i feel like when it comes to this connection you've had a decision to make that maybe you've already made uh you've been torn about this decision torn about how you feel what to do where to go let's see what this uh, two of swords is about tell me about the two of swords for capricorn why is the two of swords here yeah the hermit virgo energy the three of pentacles so it's almost like should I, let me get one more, but I almost get the sense of someone that's like, should I just do this on my own? Or should I work on things with this other person or, you know, collaborate or whatever, um, work on things, you know? Tell me about the two of swords. Can I get one more? About this two of swords for Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles. You're thinking about long-term success. And, and I feel like you're you're wondering if it's with this particular person. If that's your story, if you're wondering if the person you've been involved with is your future partner and you're undecided about if that's the case, let me know in the comments. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Some of you have children with this person. That's part of the problem. And it's more than one child. Okay. That's not for all of you, obviously, but I feel like that's part of the problem for some of you. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. And others of you, you're just thinking about what makes you happy in the end. What is worth your happiness? Yeah, there's the devil. There you are. Capricorn energy. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups. Yep. Um, tell me about the Ten of Cups. Some of you are thinking about what's healthy for you. Your mental health, perhaps. Your emotional health. Your emotional well-being. This is very important for you right now. Yeah, Six of Swords. I think it's causing you to think about ending a situation that maybe isn't the best for you. But you're torn about it because this other person is possibly contacting you or wanting to talk about it or is interested in you still. Tell me about this person's energy over here. 
Tell me about the nine of wands and the five of wands. This person has been through it, but they're not giving up with the nine of wands. But with the five of wands, I just feel like they're fighting themselves or causing problems. Tell me about the nine of wands and the five of wands. Yeah, seven of wands. Tell me about the nine of wands and the five of wands. Four of Pentacles, stubborn, stubborn energy. Okay, what else? Yeah, this is someone who wants, okay, Leo energy with the strength card. This is someone who's being very stubborn and wants things their way in a way. Yeah, the chariot, cancer energy. Then there is the wheel of fortune. Um, I don't think they want you to have this Six of Swords. I think if it were up to them, you wouldn't have that option. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Five of Swords. Yeah, it's it's almost like there there's something that happened. And I feel like it's because maybe you were promised something and someone didn't deliver it. Maybe you realized that someone was full of it. Uh, maybe there was a, a big reveal, some sort of clarity or truth that you realized about this connection. And it, 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 it brought a conflict forward to the forefront. Maybe you felt taken advantage of. Maybe you felt deceived. Maybe you felt like you couldn't trust who you were with. And it's like, as soon as this happened, Capricorn, you were like, I'm not going to stay here. Or there's got to be something better for me. Or is this really what I'm going to be stuck with when it, you know, as, as far as my partner goes, you know? Th this person has regrets, but I feel like they're also being stubborn in the sense that they know they screwed up, but they don't want to give you up either. Yeah, there's a death card again. Scorpio energy. I feel like you ended the things with this person or told this person that you wanted to end things. And I don't think they're doing well with that information. There's a two of wands at the bottom of the deck. Knight of Swords. Maybe you've talked about this. Maybe this person, they, I don't know. It, I, I, it, and it could also be Capricorn that you've met someone new or someone new will appear very soon. That makes you question things even more with this particular person. It's really strange. And I feel like you don't know what to do. Like you need advice on what to do about this situation. So um, otherwise, I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching this reading. If you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out my Oracle decks. If you're interested in them, they're in the description box. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.